Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Hype Man Tarot. My name is Alvin, and this is going to be a message um, for the sign of Gemini. 555. Five, five. It's 555, by the way. Today happens to be November 15th, which is the new moon in Scorpio. Um, I'm not going to put these, like, I'm not going to make it a November reading and let them be timeless. Whenever you see it, whenever it resonates with you, you see it, but the intention is the is for the sign of Gemini. And I hope to like put a bunch of Gemini readings out all at once. I think this month I'll have like three. Hopefully I can get like one a week. Um, yeah. Let's usher nice and slow. It's my playlist today. Uh, but this is gonna be for Gemini. Quick message, let's see what we get. It, it can be personal growth, it can be love. We'll see what comes out. If you're watching this on Instagram, uh, you're only gonna see the first 15 minutes. So you can shoot over to YouTube, the link is in the bio, to see the rest of the reading, if it happens to be that long. Uh, I'm also gonna start doing $3.33, 3333 uh, personal readings. So you'll see that information as well. And yeah, let's see what we get here. Let's see what you're feeling astrologically, uh, you know, with this new moon in Scorpio, that's today. So hopefully you planted your seeds right and you you planted your seeds from, from Halloween until now. Um, and I know that Gemini, it's been a very difficult year for Gemini, right? But this new moon is definitely an opportunity for you to start working um, towards your spirituality is what, is what I was told, right? Start start putting in daily routines, whether it's yoga, whether it's meditation, whether it's a new moon ritual. Like if you focus on you, yourself, and your spirituality, you know, nobody wants to change. Nobody likes changes, but you might, there might be a, a situation where you need to change for someone. You need to change your routine to adapt, to allow someone else to come in because your current routine is just you, yourself, and I. You, yourself, and you. And I'm gonna say, I'm a partial Gemini too. Me, myself, and I. So my normal routine probably does not allow for someone else to come in. Um, so try, if you, if you if you are a meditator, then try advancing that. If you're not, get into that. If you're not, if you do, let it be yoga. Um, I read somewhere like, like new moon, like rituals and stuff like that. If you're into like cool stuff like that, like lighting a candle and, you know, saying a prayer. You know, being religious, if you want to go to church, you know, start your spirituality needs, you have a sense of you wanting to develop your spirituality in this time right now. That's what, that's what the new moon in Scorpio energy is bringing towards you right now, All right? So I'm going to pull um, an overall card and then we're going to see how you should per, how, how you should interpret that card. I'll do it this way. Let's see what we got. your overall energy, how you should interpret that card, what you're not seeing in the underlying message, what's behind you and what's 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 to look forward to you. What's what's there to look forward to? At the bottom of the deck, ooh, single lady, nine of pentacles, we'll get to that. Your overall energy, ooh. Seven of swords, I had to look at it twice. Seven of swords, you feel like you've been shaded, you feel like someone's been dirty to you you feel let me see with the bottom of the deck being the oh and then underneath that is relationships okay you're feeling like there might have been a relationship here or there might be someone in your life that you feel they're either being shady to you or maybe you're the one being shady maybe you're being shady in the relationships and you're single and you're cute with a birdie on your finger and you know your money's cute but your relationships are lacking because no one wants to stay because people just keep leaving. And now you're like sick and tired of it is what I'm getting here. Let's see, how should you interpret this card? Oh my God, the lovers, this is a relationship. Ooh, that's your card. Welcome to your reading, Gemini. You're tired of the shadiness. What's the underlying message here? Page of Wands. You... Yeah, you are tired of relationships leaving your life. You're tired of people leaving your life. You're tired of partnerships that you build leave your life. It's Adam and Eve is on the card, right? They're also on the, the, the devil card. They're chained to the devil card. 
So I always try to like compare the two. I'm like, this is this is the other side of it. Like this is Adam and Eve and they're building partnerships or you're building duality or you're learning about partnerships or you're learning how to be in a partnership with somebody. But you're sick of the, the you feel like a sense of like, people keep being shady to you and they keep leaving your life. Sneaky, sneaky people. I don't know where you're finding your partners, but maybe you should look on a different app. I don't know, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Um, What's the underlying message here? The underlying message here is that you are, these people aren't meant to be in your life because you're in an exploratory phase. You are, or now you will be, now that the, the, the rough years over behind us and retrogrades are gone. You are in a state where you are, you are exploring your options. So those people that left your life are supposed to leave your life. So stop trying to go back to them. Definitely what I'm getting here. Do not go back to them. They're not there because you're now and you're like a kid in the in, in the in the forest with a stick, and you are going on a hunt. You're about to go on a hunt and explore, explore a lot. What's behind you? You now you, the truth. This could be a Libra that's in the past. Um, a Libra that's in your past life. This also could just mean like you know the truth about past relationships. So why would you bring that forward? Forward cart an offer, why would you bring that forward drama, that balance, you got the truth, you got what you wanted, hopefully you got your closure, and now you're moving forward because you're exploring, you're exploring your options. Ace of Pentacles, literally a new offer. Can be, I, I'm getting more relationship aspect, like someone wants to offer you an opportunity to be a partner with them, uh, or it could be like business venture, like you could get a new offer and job, you can get a new opportunity, but just know like th this, this feeling that you have of like, People being so shady to you, I, I can I can imagine how that would affect you emotionally. I can, which is probably why you're like this single bitch. I'm gonna say it. You now you're the single bitch because people don't know how to stay in your life, and they keep doing shady shit to you, and they keep leaving. You know, but you ultimately want relationships, two of cups. You are you emotionally balanced, king of king of cups. This is at the bottom of the deck. Are you emotionally balanced? Could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces that, that wants to come in and, and build a relationship with you, but you're on this exploratory phase. Explore your options, explore what you have, allow for new opportunities to come in, build on the relationships that you already have, um, connect with your spirituality. Maybe you just need a little zen so that you don't come off like, like the single bitch, you know? And you just need to like wusa a little bit so that you can allow for them to come in. Let's pull from the Moonology deck and see what other messages we get here. I'm gonna shuffle and then pull from the top spirit. Three shuffles. Surrender to the divine. You need to give in. Uh, right away I got the hangman. Surrender, surrender, stop. Give in. I, this was actually the energy in the beginning of the month. Like you found yourself like having to surrender. You found yourself like giving into things. Like why? Well, why am I like willing to do that? Because you're exploring different options. You're, you're realizing that the situation that you're we're in is not necessarily the right path for you. I'm gonna clarify. Let's clarify that. I want to clarify each one. Clarify, surrender to the divine. Ooh, new beginning, baby girl. Baby boy, new beginnings here. Surrender to the divine so you can allow new beginnings to come in. You Just give in, give in to the change, give in to the, pa change your pattern so that you can allow new beginnings to come in. It's time to take action. Move forward, you wanna make new moon in Aries. Aries are, Aries make shit happen. Um, Aries are being affected by this new moon in Scorpio the most. Uh, so there is an Aries in your life. They too are kind of on, on, on a journey like you, like vulnerability. Um, but it's time to take action. So some of you will know what that's about. There's time to take action on a situation. Let's clarify this. Oh my God. <laughs> the lovers is out here twice. Time to take action on a relationship, on a partnership that you need to, to literally, you need to push, you need to make it happen. You need to make the first move. And I'm, there's a card in this deck that says, you know, make the first move. Um, if you make the first move, 
feel comfortable. I just want to show you, like, this is cute. I like how these cards match. All right? Make the first move. It could be with an Aries. If this, if this sounds like your story, then, you know, hit me up and we can do a personal reading and we can go deeper into, like, this past life with this, this Libra. Um, or the, and then we can go forward, like, look at, looking at this. It could be potential Gemini or who this new beginning is about. We'll see. We, we can do that. Your hard work is paying off. Just know that. So I'm, I'm on a financial sector, on a, it could be personal growth sector, but I feel like there's still some, some, some spirituality you need to do here. In the sense of work, I think you're doing just fine. Your hard work is gonna pay off, I think. And then, yeah, you're, you're definitely, you're definitely financially okay, because we have, yeah, here we have the, the single lady. Her pentacles are cute, her birdies on her finger. She's good, she's, she's not, there's no issue there. Let me clarify this. Your hard work is paying off for Gemini. Yep, and Ace of Wands. Again, creativity, explore. Um, it's like your kid, you're a kid in the in the forest with a stick, and your hard work is 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 paying off because you were creative. You have new ideas if you if you haven't brought them to the table yet you probably should bring those that idea that you had that little thing that's in your spark in your head that for if it's work related you are doing new things you have new creative ideas um, and if you don't and you have them in your mind and you have them and you haven't manifested them or put them out into reality let this be a sign that you probably should definitely because spirit is definitely saying that you have the creativity the, cre the underlying message is literally creativity it could be desires sexual desires there's just a sense of creativity and sense of newness. Change your habits to allow for others to come in. I hope this message resonates with you, Gemini, and I'll see you on the next one.